and welcome back and welcome back to your top deals to do on repeat for the week starting on Sunday, July the 15th. Now for anyone that is new here, hi and welcome. My name is Michelle and if you are truly, truly interested in learning how this couponing thing works, especially at Walgreens, then you are in the right place, my friend. Take a moment to hit the red subscribe button, select the notification bell and check all. That way you're notified each and every time I upload a video. Also make sure you follow me over on Instagram and or on Facebook and then check the community tab here often as I do post in real time any new deals, rebates, coupons or any other information that you may need to be aware of. Also make sure on every one of my videos you're always checking the pinned comment. The pinned comment is the very first comment in the comment section and you will see that it actually says pinned comment and it does say pinned by me. In the pinned comment, if there's anything I failed to mention in the current video, anything that I need to elaborate on, I will always leave it in the pinned comment for you along with a ton of other helpful information and resources to help you along your couponing journey. All right, so that was a lot. Moving on. Now, this week we have quite a bit going on at Walgreens. It's going to be a really great week of deals, stocking up on some essential items, and we have a in-ad um, spin booster that is available to everyone. So that is a plus. Now, I did a live video a few days ago where I went into detail all in regards to the spin perks, how they work, what's going to stack, and all of that there. I will leave the live video link in the pinned comment for you as well as at the end of this video. If you did not catch it or if you need a refresher, please go back and watch that live video. Now the first part of that live video, maybe the first 15, 20 minutes or so, is where we discuss the um, spin boosters in detail. However, throughout the live video, I did answer questions regarding the spin perks and then other questions as well. So if you have the time, let the live video play as you're doing laundry dishes or whatever. Just let it play. That way you got to get the information that was shared in the live video. All right, so just a quick overview of the weekly in-app perk. Now this perk is available to everyone. In your app, you should have a digital version that you can clip to your account. Now I do recommend clipping that coupon versus worrying about scanning it from your phone or looking for a paper version in store. Just go ahead and clip it. It is the easiest way to go. Now with this perk, there are three different tiers. One tier is when you spend $25, you get back $5 in Walgreens cash. The second tier is when you spend $40, you get $10 back in Walgreens cash. And then the third tier, if you spend $100, you get $30 back in Walgreens cash. Now with this perk, it is multi-use, meaning you can use it over and over and over again. If you decide to do 100 different transactions for each qualifying spend that you do, you will get back the rewards for each 100 transactions. It is multi-use. It is unlimited on the amount of times you can utilize it. Now with this perk, the digital version and the paper version will not stack together. They are one and the same. Now all the information I'm giving you on this perk is based on how it has always worked in the past. We have not received this perk for quite some time. So, you know, things can change. It is Walgreens, but come Sunday, we will know whether or not it is actually working as I have stated in this video and again in the live where I go into full detail in regards to this perk here. All right, so with that being said, and actually this perk is good until the 28th. It is actually good for the next two weeks, which is like awesome, awesome sauce. Excuse me, I'm cutting off my, my phone before someone starts calling me. Okay, so, the perk is good from the 15th to the 28th, so for the next two weeks, we will be able to utilize this perk on repeat to build up our Walgreens cash. So that is a plus. All right, sure. so for those of you that are new here, just a quick overview of how, how these videos go or really how all my breakdowns go. Now, when it comes to Walgreens, deals are unlimited. You are not limited to the amount of times you can do any one deal, any one promotion, on one account. You can literally do the same deal, same promotion a hundred times over 
on one account. The deals are not limited at Walgreens. The only thing that limits you at Walgreens truly is if you're relying on digital coupons alone. However, because we're able to earn manufactured register rewards as well as store register rewards, those can become our coupons to do any deal promotion on repeat. So with my breakdowns, it's always a example of how you can do a particular deal transaction. If I'm telling you to use store money, and I'm going to tell you what kind of store money, whether it's Walgreens Cash, a store register reward, or a manufactured register reward. If I have it listed, it means you can use it freely, okay? If I have a certain dollar amount to use in Walgreens Cash or in a register reward, but you don't have that same dollar amount in Walgreens Cash or a register reward, then use what you have and just redo the numbers. Or if you don't have any store money, then know that your balance will have to be paid with cash. There's no other option. We're either using the store's fake money to pay for our transactions or we're using real cash. Now, you may be able to work out something with the manager or the cashier to get your stuff paid for if you don't have Walgreens cash or actual cash, but that's on you. But what I'm telling you is with my deals and my scenarios, I'm always going to give you what you can use in Walgreens cash or register rewards and how to apply it. If you don't have that particular denomination in money, redo the math. And if you don't have the money at all, then no, you have to pay cash. So if the balance is going to be $10 and you don't have $10 in store money, you got to pay $10 in cash, okay? Anyways, um, that went on longer than what it should have. However, I get questions like that all the time. I don't have a $4 register reward. I don't have this in Walgreens cash. And it's like, what do you have? I got $2. Well, use $2. And it's going to reduce your cash out of pocket by two dollars but anyways all right so the first deal that's definitely a deal to do on repeat this week um i'm going to give it to you two different ways and one way is going to be a sunday only deal because the manufacturing coupon expires on sunday but then i will give it to you um wait did i give it to you two different ways no i did not so again if you want to do this deal after the coupon expires Simply use your Walgreens cash or a manufactured register reward, or if you happen to have a store register reward as your coupon to lower your cash out of pocket, okay? So we have Dial Body Wash and Dial Bar Soap on sale two for eight. Nothing's coming back. Make sure you're checking the rebate apps to see whether or not we have any rebates out there. However, we do have a insert coupon that's going to expire on the 15th for buy one, get one um, free. Side note, you can always check coupontom.com to locate which insert a coupon would have come from. If you wanna see the physical coupon, you wanna be able to look at it, you can go to clip to save, that's where I typically go, and you can see the inserts. You can browse by the different um, inserts, PNG, smart source, save, etc., and then look to see how the coupon looks. So you can see a picture of the coupon is what I'm saying. Okay, so picking up two um, is $8. Now the buy one, get one coupon should take off half, which would be $4. So if $4 come off, your total is $4. You could roll in one manufactured register reward if you wanted to here, or just use Walgreens cash or both. Let's just say, for example, you had a $2 register reward. That was, you can use the $2 register reward your balance then will be $2 and then you can use two in Walgreens cash. So you can use both forms of store fake money to pay for your transaction at once, okay? All right, so then the next option to pick this up, now the coupon, it says a max value of $5.49. So sometimes, even though the product is on sale, sometimes the buy one, get one coupons will still take off the full value of the coupon sometimes so if that was the case they're two for eight minus the buy one get one coupon would take off five dollars and 49 cent that will leave you to pay two dollars and 51 cent again manufactured register reward here and or walgreens cash to pay all right so another great deal to do on repeat this week is on the tide and downy simple products they're going to be on sale for two dollars and 99 cents on promotion for when you buy three 
you get a $3 register reward back. Now, I do believe that we are scheduled to get a dollar off one insert coupon. Those coupons are typically, not typically, they're always limit one coupon per transaction. So following the coupon limits here, we would only be able to use one paper coupon. However, if your store, um, not your store, if we have digitals, you can use one digital and then one paper. So that would give you $2 in savings there. Nonetheless, picking up three, $8.97, minus a dollar off one insert coupon. That would bring you to $7.97. Again, manufactured register reward, Walgreens cash can be used, and even um, a store register reward if you have it. You would get back $3, um, a $3 register reward. Now, the way the transaction is here, how I have it laid out, this is the perfect example of when we want to build up our transaction. So with a subtotal of $7.97, the most we can use in Walgreens cash here is $5, okay? So that will leave you to pay the difference cash out of pocket. Well, with a transaction like this, I would look at it and say, oh no, I don't wanna pay anything more than what I have to. Let me build up to the next tier, which is $10. So building this transaction up, we can put the dial and the tie simply together. Subtotal will be $16.97 minus the buy one get one coupon, taking off $4 and then a dollar off for the tie simply product would be $11.97. We can simply use again manufactured register rewards and Walgreens cash here. Now, if the buy one get one free coupon is taken off the full value of $5.49, then we'll have a subtotal of $10.48 here. And again, getting back the $3 register reward. All right, so another must do on repeat deal this week is on the Tide, um, the fancier bottles of Tide Laundry and then the Bounty Essentials and Charmin. So they're gonna be on sale for $4.95. On promotion for when you buy four, you get a $6 registrable board back. Now I'm gonna give you three different breakdowns on how this transaction, um, how these deals can be done and how to build the transaction. So picking up four of the Tide products, you wanna to check to see if you have any digital coupons, check to see if there are any printable coupons on pggoodeveryday.com, and then also whatever insert coupons you may have from the PNG. So picking up four of these Tide products would be $19.80, minus a total of $8 in manufactured coupons. Now the coupons that we have in the PNG insert is $2 off of one, if there are any digitals, they will be $2 off of one as well. And then if there are any printables, they should be $2 off one as well. That would bring you down to $11.80. You can use Walgreens cash to pay here and you'll get back a $6 register reward. Now, another option if you have this only for you digital coupon for $4 off three, of the Charmin or Bounty. Now, with these Only For You coupons, they are super tricky. Sometimes they are actually applying, sometimes they do not. Sometimes you can scan the product in the store and it will show you what it's actually applying to. Sometimes it will not, so I won't lie to you. This here will be one of those gambles of a coupon. But picking up three of these Charmin or Bounty, you can mix and match one Tide product. We're at 1980 minus $4 in digital coupons. Again, it's four off three for the Sherman and the Bounty. And then I would use a $5 manufactured register reward here. You don't have to use a manufactured register reward, but for more savings, again, keeping the cash out of pocket as low as possible, I would use the $5 manufactured register reward. Otherwise, you would use a $2 insert coupon or your $2 digital or a $2 printable for the tide here. But Using the $5 manufacturer coupon, we're at $10.80. And then you can simply use Walgreens cash to pay and you'll get back the $6 register reward. Now keep in mind, anytime you're using a register reward, no matter what the value is in digital coupons, it is always a gamble. It is just the way Walgreens system works. Register rewards are unfaithful and they will attach to anything. 
So that means that they are attached to an item that you have a digital coupon for, your digital coupon will not apply. Now, sometimes it happens opposite. Your digital coupons may kick out your paper coupon. It's the thing. Again, when you understand how the store works and you know all of its little quirks, nothing goes perfect at any stores. Let's just say that. Nothing goes perfect at any stores. But when you know all the ins and the outs and the little things that could go wrong, you can be better prepared at the register to whether proceed with the transaction, board the transaction, and then regroup, okay? All right, the third option for picking up the Tide deal is if you have the $3 um, only for you digital coupon, $3 all three, Bounty or um, Shorman. So picking up three of those, one at a time, again, $19.80, use a $3 digital coupon, and I would still use a $5 manufactured register reward here. That would bring you down to $11.80, and then using Walgreens cash to pay, you'll get back the $6 register reward. All right, so next deal up is the deal of the week. When you purchase two participating products, you get $4 back in Walgreens cash. Now with this, you can use Walgreens cash to pay, a manufactured register reward, and a store register reward to pay. There are several different products included here. It is not until we get in store and really dive in to see what's all included, what digital coupons we may get, what printable coupons we may get that we can work up some really, really great deals here. But again, buy two, get $4 back in Walgreens cash, and you can freely use the store's money here to pay, and you will get the store money back. All right, so next up is on the Colgate toothpaste. They're gonna to be on sale for $3.99. On promotion for when you buy two, you get $4 back in Walgreens cash. Now we are scheduled to get a $2 off one insert coupon as well as a $2 off one digital coupon. So picking up two will be $7.98 minus $4 in manufactured coupons. They will bring you down to $3.98. You can use Walgreens cash to pay and you'll get back the $4 in Walgreens cash. Now with this transaction, you definitely wanna watch your tax I'm not taxed on two pays, so I know for me, I would need to add in a filler item here to kick me over to $4. That way I can use four in Walgreens cash and just pay the tax out of pocket. Otherwise, the most that I'll be able to use in um, Walgreens cash is only $3 here, leaving me to pay 98 cent cash out of pocket. All right, so another great deal this week is on the big stationary products. They're gonna be select products on sale for 99 cents. Now we do currently have an insert coupon for $2 off of two. However, Walgreens does not do over. So if you only picked up two products, your total will be $1.94. That $2 off two coupon will most likely, 99.9% .9 sure, it will not scan because you're six cent away from the $2 and again, Walgreens doesn't do overage. So to get that coupon to scan, you need to pick up three products total. For a total of $2.94, use the $2 off two insert coupon, 94 cent plus your tax, then you can go ahead and use Walgreens cash to pay. Now, a deal that I am super excited about is on the Nivea Lotion. There are going to be spend 15, get $5 back in Walgreens cash. And they are currently regular price. So that means the 25% off coupon as well as the 20% off coupon will apply. Plus, we're getting insert coupons and it looks like we're going to have a digital coupon. Plus, we currently have iVital rebates on the Nivea Lotion as well. So picking up three products, one price at $8.79, the other two priced at $6.49. Now prices will vary by store, so double check your prices and double check your math here. Will be $21.77. We're gonna take off $5.44 for the 25% off savings. That brings us down to $16.33. Now, after that 25% savings is applied, we must make sure we still meet the required spend amount for the spend deal. And again, the spend deal is spend 15, get five. So after 25% coupon, we're at 16.33, so we still meet the spend requirement. And then we can utilize our insert digital coupons, printable coupons, 
manufacturer register rewards, whatever we have. Now, I didn't give you a separate breakdown for the Nivea deal, because we're gonna put that into a bigger deal for our spend deal, and I'll show you how all of that works. All right, so for our first spend deal, we're gonna pick up six of the big stationary products, three of the Nivea products. We're gonna pick up four of the Oral-B or Crest products, that are priced at $4 each. And then we're gonna pick up two of the Colgate products and one of the AccuView Eye Contact Solution Cleaner, whatever it is. All right, so all of these items we're gonna put in together for the spend 25, get $5 back in Walgreens cash. So what we're doing here, the weekly spend booster, the spend deal on Pacific products, which is the Nivea, and then we're doing a bunch of buy deals that's giving us back Walgreens cash as well. Um, if you have a paper spin booster, you can also throw that into this transaction here and you can still use Walgreens cash to pay as long as you use the contactless pay option, which is the pay in store option. In the pinned comment, I have a video where I walk you through how to utilize the pay in store option, okay? Um, yeah, so we're doing all of that here. Now, the, if you have a paper spin booster, the highest threshold of a paper spin booster with this particular breakdown that you can utilize is spin 25. That is it. If you have one for spin 30 or spin 35, do not use it in this transaction unless you are willing to pay the difference cash out of pocket, okay? If that was like, what? Ask me in the comments and I'll break it down further, but the highest spin booster for your paper spin booster that you can use in this transaction is spin 25, okay? Which is the same for the weekly in-app booster that we're using. Spin 25, get $5 um, in Walgreens cash. Okay, we're gonna be at a subtotal of $62.36 minus the $5 IBC coupon for the AccuView. Now, we are going to scan the IVC coupon first because we're also using the 25% off coupon. If we scan the 25% off coupon first, it will take 25% off the AccuView, which then will not allow you to use the $5 IVC coupon. When you do the math, the $5 IVC coupon comes out to be more savings than using the 25% on the AccuView, okay? So $62.36 minus the $5 IVC, then minus the $5.40 for the Nivea. Again, we're scanning the 25% after the IVC. That leaves us at $51.92. We still meet our spend requirement for the weekly in ad booster. Spend 25, get five. We also still meet the spend requirement for the Nivea. Spend 15, get five. So we're good to go for both our spend deals. Now we're gonna use the three off two Nivea coupon. We're gonna use the five off three Crest coupon, which is a digital. The two off um, coupons for the Colgate, and then the two off two for the big pens, and then five for the AccuView. We're also gonna use two $4 manufactured register rewards that we earned last week. Now on this breakdown, I put earn from the Gillette deodorant because if you guys were following my deals, then you should have those $4 register rewards as well. However, if you have a $4 register reward that came from any other deal, you can use that. I'm just giving the Gillette as an example here, okay? That brings us down to $22.92. We're going to use $20 in Walgreens cash. We're going to pay the $2.92 cash out of pocket plus our tax. And we will get back $5 for the um, weekly in ad spend booster, $5 for the Nivea, $8 on the Crest, $4 on the Colgate, and maybe a $5 register reward for the Crest. Now remember with the Crest products, they have been glitching all month long where they're working for two separate promotions. So just depending on whether or not that glitch is still rolling in the new week, 
we will get back a $5 register reward as well. Then we're going to submit to Ibotta for the Nivea. Now on one of my Niveas, I have $2 back up to three times. And then on the other, I have $3 back up to three times. So just depending on what you have for a rebate on the Nivea will determine how much you get back from Ibotta. All right, so a second spend deal um, scenario is picking up the Nivea Body Wash, which is a part of the weekly deals. Buy two products, get $4 back in Walgreens cash, two of the Colgate, and then two of the Dial Soap. And again, we are using the weekly in-app booster of spend $25, get $5 back. All right, so we are going to pick up a total of six of the Nivea body washes. Now, the Nivea body washes are on sale three for $17 and on promotion, but when you buy two, you get $4 back in Walgreens cash. Now, we do have a insert coupon coming out for $3 off two. In the past, this coupon did allow you to use four identical coupons. However, if I remember correctly, the last time we got Nivea coupons, they changed the limits to like two identical coupons. So... You're going to use two of the insert coupons if that's the case. We'll use two of the insert coupons at either the digital or the um, printable. Fingers crossed we get a printable coupon. All right, so that's going to bring us to $49.98 minus all of our coupons, including one $6 manufactured register reward that we will earn from doing the tie deal and then minus one $5 manufactured register reward. Now, if you have one of the $5 from doing the Crest deal that we've been doing all month long, you can use that one here or any other $5 manufactured register reward that you may have. But again, throw in what you do have to keep your cash out of pocket as low as possible. So our subtotal will either be $21.98 or $20.49, just depending on how that dial body wash coupon will apply. 20 in Walgreens cash and pay $1.98 out of pocket or again 49 cent out of pocket. We will get back a total of $5 for the spin booster, 12 on the Nivea, and then $4 for the Colgate. Now another way to do this transaction if you don't have the dial coupon and or you decide to do this transaction during the middle of the week once the dial coupon has expired. The exact same products we're picking up minus the dial. Instead, we will replace it with six of the big stationary products. That will bring our total to $47.92 minus all of our manufactured coupons, including two $5 manufactured register rewards. That will bring us down to $20.92. We can use 20 in Walgreens cash, paying the 92 cent cash out of pocket. And again, we will get back all the rewards stated. Now, did you guys notice in the ad that apparently Walgreens has a My Walgreens credit card now? I don't know about this. It says earn $25 in Walgreens cash when you open an account and make your first purchase within 45 days. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Walgreens is offering credit cards now? I don't know about that. And it looks like it may be backed by MasterCard. That's what the little logo looks like. I, I don't know about that because... Um, Walgreens could barely get it together with the register rewards and Walgreens cash. I don't know if I can trust them with credit card and your credit and I don't know. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this and whether or not you looked into it and what did you find. But apparently there's a my Walgreens credit card now. So who would have thunk it? I don't know. Anywho, there are a ton of great deals this week at Walgreens. Um, a ton of de deals that I didn't even go through, but we will get to them um, by the end of the week for sure. A ton of great deals. So with that being said, if you have questions about anything, feel free to leave it for me in the comments. Of course, let me know what deals and steals you plan to pick up this week, what you plan to do on repeat all week long. And as always, thanks so very much for watching. And until next time, have the keep funny.